Why am I sitting in my car listening to Hawaii music by myself in my own garage? <sighs> I'm so frustrated. It's one o'clock, two o'clock. Oh my gosh, my whole day. My whole day feels like it's gone. Um, I was laying in bed at like 9.30, 9.45. Just enjoying sleeping in. No one was awake. Jason was at work. I had nothing on the calendar. Or so I thought. At 10, just before 10, I got an alert, which set your alerts and your reminders on your calendar events, people. Otherwise, that's why you forget them. But I had to take a friend to a doctor's appointment today. I've been having this friend for the past couple weeks. She has a traumatic brain. Actually, she has 10 traumatic brain injuries and so her cognitive function doesn't always click and so she's needing an advocate to help her fix what we think now is a hernia anyway so I was reminded I had that appointment to go to today with her pick her up and take her that all went smoothly she does probably in fact have a hernia we're gonna get an ultrasound tomorrow um, I dropped her off at home I thought I'm out I'm about I'm gonna get my errands done I ran to Costco. My kids have already taken this stuff inside. I got a treat for Jason for Christmas, a treat for my friend for her. credit card. I probably stuck it back in my pocket and I think it fell on the floor. That is the last time I had it. From Costco, I went to the post office, which I will show you the packages we just got from Patty and from Lynn and Heidi. We did in fact just get your letters in the mail. So I'm going to give Abby hers and I will show your card in just a second. Um, went to the post office from the post office, but I didn't need my card at the post office. I just needed my key to get into my PO box. So I didn't do anything else with my card from there, but that was when I realized I was missing my credit card because from there I was going to go to the bank and I went to get my other card to activate the ATM, realized my credit card was not in my purse. It was not in any of my pockets. It was not here in the car. I had literally not done anything with it since checking out at Costco 10 minutes before, <laughs> not even 10 minutes before. So I pulled over, looked everywhere in my car, looked through everything I had just bought. It was nowhere. Ran back to Costco, looked all over the kiosk area where I had just checked out. Not there, checked with lost and found, checked with customer service. Ended up having to put an absolute stop, lost and stolen card halt on that credit card, which is fantastic three days before Christmas four days before Christmas, because everything I have is hooked to that dang credit card. <laughs> so now I have to like, <sighs> anyway, so that is stop. I'm going to go inside and cheat, see really quick on my account if anyone was able to like go and have a wonderful Christmas on my dime in that half hour that I was missing my card um, and contest those charges if they in fact ran around Costco really quick and made purchases. Um, so that's my morning and now we're here. So after I figured that out, I ran back to the bank, got the packages, got myself a bed beverage. Cause at this point in the day, like I haven't even eaten and I'm just, I need to go to the bathroom too. So let's go in, um, let the kids open this package. And I think the, the one is the one from Patty is to me. We'll see if anyone else gets anything in it. I actually have something to send as well, but I'm just so frustrated that not only did all that just take so long, I haven't even told you what happened yesterday with Abby. Took her to the ortho um, because two of the brackets that she has to have her elastics on have broken off. But we can't reattach them 
because of the splint, that's the word I was looking for the other day, splint is attached and it cannot come off th for three more weeks, which means the wire can't come off, which means the bracket cannot come off and get reattached. So we had to attach the elastics to something completely different, um, but we all feel comfortable that it was, that it's okay. Um, so anyway, that process yesterday took three hours because Seattle traffic. I don't like, can everyone just go out of town? Can everyone just go off to the woods and like not be here? Can, can we just have that? Cause I am so sick of traffic. It took us three hours, three and a half hours to do a 30 minute appointment because we had to go to North Seattle and it took that long to come to go there and come back. So we stopped at Chick-fil-A yesterday. So we're just living it <laughs> all the out of fast food places because I just can't handle life these days. Not, anyway, not I'm not at home. I'm never home. So I can't carry this in and carry you. So hang on. Okay, I am at home and, or I, we, were, or we were already at home. <laughs> okay, first of all, Patty, you find the cutest freaking wrapping. Her boxes, her her packaging, this is really cute and actually has like total Hawaiian vibes and then right here on the front it says Aloha, little sticker. Um, she's a stinker, um, I can see what she sent. Oh my gosh, she did not. So this Merry Christmas, Happy New Year to the Brown family. So I'm gonna open that up, cute little <sighs> patty. I'm gonna put that down, That we're gonna save that till last. So Kaylee, Abby, Chelsea, Ashley. $10 each. They have a discount. <laughs> they have a discount today. They do? Yeah. Oh. Go show it to Abby. Is Kaylee still home? No. Okay. Let me keep it. Let me keep it. No. I'll I have take to... out 40. No, you're not taking all 40. She also sent this to me and Jason, which AKA this is mine. Yeah. <laughs> this one is mine. I will put that right into my purse. He'll get a smoothie out of it, um, but he doesn't usually get anything else unless he steals my fries. Um, I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna show the kids that and give them their $10 gift cards because- I lost mine. I know, which is why I'm keeping yours. I was literally just gonna say it. The three older kids can keep track of theirs in their wallets, but this munch can- No, I had it. Okay, anyway. Okay, Patty, like, <laughs> how did you even like, I don't even know how she found this. Maybe she ordered it online. I'm gonna take it out of the package, hang on. Well, one cry session with Jason later. <laughs> Just, when things boil over, they boil over. And he just asked me one question, too much. And just, he, something else happened last night. Just, I wanted to toss him one ball to catch. And he got mad at me for tossing it to him. <laughs> We're talking figuratively. Um, Christmas thing, list of something to do. I tossed it to him, I need you to do this, and he got mad that I asked him to do it. So then today he asked me to do something else, and I just said I'm not, I'm not catching those balls anymore, I'm not catching them. Okay, we're gonna open this gift to make myself you a little bit happier. This. Oh, I, we were, this is where we were Oh wait, at. I know where she got it. Well I know where she got it, I just don't know how she got it herself, if she ordered it online. Patty, we're going back to you. I'm trying to find better lighting and get away from her um, noise while she struggles to open that package. She got me a Maui Strong um, ornament and I, it's not gonna go on my Christmas tree. I have um, plans here in my office to do a full dedicated like um, shelf. I have one right now. It's really cluttered because you guys, you keep sending me stuff. That one is from Michelle. Um, I'm forgetting if Michelle sent that or Patty sent that. Here's my little award, our, our pictures from that we've gotten taken there. My own little displays. I don't even know where the back part is. But I'm gonna take that whole shelf in January and add um, Hawaiian stuff to this shelf up here. I'm gonna declutter all of that stuff and donate that stuff and make another Hawaiian section up there just because I love this kind of stuff. So Patty, just so you know, for right now, we're just gonna put this little guy right here. We're just gonna hit, put him right there. It like, I don't, 
I don't think I can fully like, I think I'm already emotional right now, but I don't think people understand like this makes me happy. Like the Hawaiian vibes, the screen, like the screensaver on my computer, having it be the Kauai coast. So let's open this card and this that card. Do you want to see what this in this one? Yeah. <laughs> you already saw what's in it. Oh, how cute. That's a cute card. Oh my gosh, it that is adorable. Up. It lights up. Oh, there's a note on the back. What does it say? I can't read cursive. <laughs> She's like, I don't think these letters are real. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you, Patty. Okay, I got mixed up. The Jingle Jangle is from Lynn. I got, we had both packages opening at the same time. Can you go this the is from Lynn. Correct, Ash? Yeah. Yeah. We that was know. in. <sighs> this is the problem I have, you guys. They get so excited to open packages. So the ornament and a card was from Patty in here. Um, the Hawaii ornament was from Patty. This card, this cute card, and the jingle jangle. Um, was from Lynn, so thank you Lynn and Heidi. We do in fact have your card um, that we are gonna hang up right now. I just did. So pretty, it has like glitter on it. Rejoice in all the good things the Lord your God has given you. Um, and then Happy New Year, Heidi. Thank you so much, Heidi. That was really sweet of you to send. And then you sent one to Abby as well, and she is opening that upstairs. Hi. So did you take these out? Yeah. Oh, Kaylee, Kaylee has her gift card. She is mine. snagging really mine. quick. So, perfect timing yet again. Right when I kind of needed a little pick-me-up today. I appreciate that, you guys. Okay, Abby has been going through all of the stuff she's been given. She's running out of room, so she sent some of these downstairs for me to store and keep nicely. And I don't think I ever showed you all of these cards because she immediately wanted them up in her bedroom. We had them all displayed on her desk and because she wasn't doing her makeup and homework at her desk. I um, mean, Kaylee wasn't doing homework either because she was done with school. But um, she's run out of room because she keeps getting more and more things and she's working on diamond painting at her desk right now. And so, you guys, <laughs> look how cool these are. I can't remember if we've shown all these. Um, there might actually be more. Um, in fact, I'm almost positive there's more. But I just wanted to show you these. Um, you guys are so, so thoughtful to send all of these to her and bring our family joy this way. Okay, I've been working on a computer way too long. Some things have worked and some things have not, and I'm getting very frustrated, but good or not. Are they asleep up here? Mm -hmm. They are. Is Chelsea mm -hmm. asleep? They're asleep? Okay, don't turn on this outside light. Is Chelsea asleep though? Are you asleep? Oh. Can we turn on the light? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and shut the door. I'll explain what, why we're doing this, but Ashley is very motivated to clean this room. Yep. Very neat. Very decluttered. And you have room for the hamper in there. Shocking. Also. Also. Her drawer. Not the top though. This is all organized. Very good. And then this is, oh goodness sakes. Get that mess off the floor real quick. <laughs> Don't just shove it under your bed, you little twit. This one's not feeling good. So we're going to turn the light back off. And I'll explain why we have, how many bags? Three. How many, three bags downstairs? I'm just going to shorten it up because it's going to take them too long. <laughs> okay, we're going to go back down here and explain. So I finally got... She just leaves everything turned on. I swear, this child. Turn that off for a second. Um, so we finally, with her cheer squad, the competitive squad that is going to Japan, we have finally got a fundraiser in place. Um, we, they, they've done it in the past, but we finally got it in place for us. 
um, and it's a textile donations to Dad's gonna bring up some shoes. not to Goodwill, but to what we have here is like Value Village, huh? Mm -hmm. So we get twenty five cents a pound. Well, we get for textiles, or yeah, we can't do furniture. Put it down, chill. Um, textiles, um, shoes. So Jason is doing a shoe run, a shoe drive at the store. And then you can also do books um, or home goods. I don't know if actually we can do home goods. I had to look at the list. But we've we figured out that um, amongst the, there are 10 kids going? There, anyway, 12. I, 12 girls going. So that's even better. So we were kind of thinking if each kid um, going to this, um, oh. going to Japan, yeah. can do a fundraiser to collect 100 bags. If we can collect a thousand bags, so 100 times, 10 girls, maybe you know more than that, then we will likely earn about four thousand dollars based on how much each bag yeah, usually weighs. Except for shoes. Shoes could be our lucky ticket because we have access to shoes. Um, that people donate all the time, and he has a big um, box at the store already. I am actually gonna go one of these days to go get some big Home Depot like moving boxes. Um, actually, I'll probably go to Lowe's. I need a place to store them in order to like kind of hold on to them here at the house until I don't have enough room to hold them. And then one of the moms has a big property and. A shed that is you know in a mo you know moisture uh, protected area I guess um, and she has offered to store all of the stuff from all of us moms we can take it to her um, throughout the next couple months and then um, we will rent a u-haul likely and take it all to the facility where we are donating it donating it to um, we're doing it, the final donation clear into March, but we're gonna try and do a push through the end of January. A lot of people declutter the beginning of the year after Christmas or getting ready for Christmas presents like Ashley and Abby. Um, so that's what we're kind of pushing for. Um, and then we'll do another one into March. But if we can get a lot leading into January, early February, um, we can get a huge chunk of fundraiser money um, to bring down the cost of what we already have um, going so far. Not the cost of our current airfare, <laughs> but the cost of the activities and the hotel that our agent is working on. So that is kind of a big step. Um, kind of wondering, I don't know if I should like worry about what's in those bags or just call it good because I know they're not going to wear them. Um, I so go back another time to like you went through it again. Yeah, to see if like I was like yeah. So unfortunately for you guys, this doesn't you know aside from like Somehow. one or two of you who might live here in this state in this area, um, it's not really a fundraiser that you guys could support. Um, I will always leave my Venmo down below if you ever wanted to support her financially. Um, you can and people have, which we appreciate. But this is an easy donation because it's free for you, um, for free people people to do. So I need to get. I have. She has done a video, cute, um, talking about any fundraiser in general and how to donate. Um, but this one I'm going to attach it to the official kind of little banner page that we have going for this fundraiser, so that I can put it on my social media for our local community. Um, and kind of broadcast it for people to do donations and then get another box, um, maybe even take into our church um, and set it up in the lobby or like the little like foyer or, or, or lost and found on. area. Stuff going on like that. Yeah, like it's very normal to like do donation stuff like this. So um, just need to like start working on that. Um, but Jason kind of felt bad that I kind of had an emotional release today and so he is going to get panda for us on his way home but he is letting me decide if i want to get picked up and go for a drive with him so we can talk um get out of the house 
that kind of thing. Um, or if he would like me to just have him go get it and come home. Not, not sure which one I want yet. I told him to call me when he is um, almost home. Um, yesterday, unfortunately, someone walked into the store. We are grateful for customers. It's just that usually one minute before you're about to close after a very long day, <laughs> you wanna go home. And a customer walked in one minute before he closed the doors. He was probably walking toward the door and was with that customer for an hour and a half. He's like, if she hadn't bought anything, I would have been really mad. <laughs> but she did, she made it worth his time. But he's like, tonight, I'm locking the door. I'm done, I wanna go home. He has the date. Does he have a today off, tomorrow off? What day is today? Thursday. Oh, he does have tomorrow off. He has to work Saturday and then he has Christmas Eve off. Um, and Christmas Day. But um, he very much wants to come home. Correct? Yeah. yeah. Kaylee and Jacob are asleep upstairs. You saw Chelsea. Abby is likely taking a rest. I have a little um, package, care package to make, not care package, birthday gift to give to my friend. I'm going to go find a non-Christmas bag to put all that in for my friend. I just got the s'mores from Costco. This is for a certain someone that may or may not get that for Christmas, but I can show you now because this video is going up after Christmas. So I got that today at Costco, which is where I lost my beloved credit card. So thanks to his... Christmas present, I lost my my credit card today. It's all his fault. <laughs> Not his fault. Um, what else? Anything else, Ash? Just kind of a low-key day. Um, maybe we'll play a game later tonight. I don't know. What is this box right here? Do you know what this I is? Know. I bet it's an art kit. I bet Abby decluttered her bedroom. Um, but I need to find a place to put all this stuff in the garage so that I can start collecting it from other people as well. Here is the state of our advent calendar puzzle. We only have four more days, which is kind of fun. Everyone is kind of fighting over the dog. The dog is next, right Ash? Yeah, I'm doing it. I know everyone, like, they sneak down here after midnight or they get up super early and then go back to bed um, in order to like get to do the box. Um, we haven't like designated. Maybe next year we'll have to designate who gets to do it, like rotate it every day. Or Would that be fair? Right. Um, but every single person wants to do this dog and he is the next it. block. <laughs> so you might need to go to bed early tonight in order to get up early enough to beat Chelsea. Yeah. You're not, well, you stay, I don't really want you up past midnight. So, so is that what that is? Is that an art kit? All right, well. Was, didn't I just see another layer to it? Oh, she just doesn't, was it Chelsea that gave that up or? All right, well. I'm going to look at the list to see if we can actually donate that or if I should just go ahead and take that to Goodwill myself. I don't know if that counts. Certain things can only be like 18 inches or smaller. So that might not count. Like books have to be 18 inches or smaller. Those are mine. Those are my junior mints. Put them, put them down. I actually want, I haven't done junior mints and popcorn. I haven't had popcorn in a very long time. Very long time. Maybe it's a popcorn night. I don't even think I have any popcorn. Yeah, we do. Is, no, the box out there is. Well, can you go look and see if there's one in the in the garage? I know there's none in the snack bucket here. Helpful. Anyway, okay. Well, should have dinner first. I should say. But I'm gonna turn this off so I can be quiet for the kids that are asleep.